All right, I have a round steak that I'm going to marinate with Montreal steak seasoning. Do both sides Push really good. And since we like things hot, we're gonna take this ground red pepper, put that on it too, all over. Rub it in, or pat it in, do the other side. Now while that's sitting, I'm going to cut up some onions to stir fry with. I also have sliced mushrooms and I'm gonna put some potatoes sliced. We're gonna stir fry all that together and add some more seasonings as we saute it. I'm going to add some sliced potatoes along with the sliced onions and the sliced mushrooms. Don't want them to be too big because we're going to stir fry it. Now I'm slicing the steak and I'm going to put the potatoes on first, then I'll add the steak so I don't overdo it. We're just going to stir fry it in a skillet up to the right amount of doneness. We are pouring in some olive oil. Not too much. And then we're going to throw the potatoes in first. I think they will take a little longer to cook than the steak. So I'm going to put the lid on and cook that for about five minutes. And then I'll come back. All right, I'm, I'm stirring up the potatoes. Now I'm pouring in all this wonderful steak that has been marinating in, the, in that rub. I think I'll do that in another minute or two before I add the other vegetables. Now I'm going to add the cut up onions, and fresh mushrooms. And then I'm gonna add some teriyaki sauce. Just drizzle it over to mix with that. And then we'll cook another five minutes. At a lower temperature. I threw in a bag of frozen broccoli and I'm going to add just a tad of butter I'll stir all this up it sure does look pretty I fixed a little bit of jasmine rice and now we're going to put the stir fry on it. And I think it looks wonderful. Okay, now that since we don't have any chairs or couches yet, we will I will attempt to sit on this thing. Get out. <laughs> this is really good.